Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Aspen Farm. It is day one of winter, year one, and our mannequin stayed where it was. Silly cursed mannequin. Okay, before we get into the, the preamble, let's just check. It's going to be sunny, and let's check what sort of fortune we have going into today. Neutral. Okay. Welcome back to Aspen Farm. Welcome back to winter time at Aspen Farm. So happy for you to stop by. Thanks for stopping by. We are entering into a new season, which is super exciting. Um, lots to take care of. Lots to take care of. Let's say good morning to cute little Rue over here. Good morning, Rue. Hello. Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. <gasps> stop. Stop, stop, stop. Has winter grass been added to vanilla? Hello? Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is like the most downloaded mod ever, I swear. And it's in vanilla. The grass stays. The grass stays. That's so exciting. Oh my gosh, I'm sweating. That is so awesome. That is crazy. Oh my gosh, I can't believe the grass stays. The grass stays. There's winter grass. Winter just became the most amazing season ever now because of that. Oh my gosh, I can't believe there's grass in winter. The blue grass looks so pretty too. Oh my gosh, it's like this like kind of like deep turquoise color. That looks so gorgeous. Okay, sorry, I'll stop um, like fangirling over that. Oh, interesting. Okay, so apparently crops that they just die. Weird, but the forage crops actually became dead things. But the... Huh, that's okay. We have our watering can up. Um, I had the game pause for a while, but our studio watering can is ready. So we can go and take a peek at that. Let's go and look at what's going on. Yay. Are these ready? Okay, so our carrots are ready. And pumpkins. Cleaning up in here a little bit. Are you ready? No, these are not ready. That's okay. Okay, so we're going to convert these carrots again. We're going to keep just creating more carrots, I think. Let's go say hi to our animals. I think we yeah, we'll shut the doors now because it's winter time. Poor animals. Oh. I didn't mean to go in. I just wanted to close these. Yay, there we go. Okay. Um Wow. I am just like blown away that there's winter grass in vanilla Stardew. That's gonna be so awesome for Switch players. Oh my gosh, winter grass is game changing. Game changing. Did I have five? I had seven regular pumpkins I could have done. That's okay. Okay, so we have a lot of plans for winter time. A lot of plans for winter time. Do I have them fully figured out? Absolutely not. Do I have a rough idea? Yes, kind of. Um, let's see if we got no duck feather today. That's okay. Ooh, we got a wool though. I might leave that in there because I don't have a loom or anything yet. So and I think we shipped the first one. No. Um, where am I looking? Goodness. Here. Yes, I shipped the first one. Okay, so we're okay th on that side of things. Oh my gosh, this grass is awesome. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Uh, one, two, three, four. There we go. So we're going to be getting one more pig, and then I think we're going to fill the rest of this barn with cows. We're going to be getting more barns and coops, so we're going to be moving... Moving everyone and around regardless, but, um, yeah. More carrots. <clears throat> Excuse me, my goodness, gunky throat. Ooh, these trees look so cute, too. Okay, let's put these in here. And let's sell off all... Oh, yeah, we have a slammer on us, right. We're gonna sell off this. Yes sell off those we'll keep the regular quality ones so regular quality ones my goodness um make more seeds which i can now move up here Ooh, we're getting a lot in return um let's grab where are they where did i put them did i put them over here i did we have one powder melon seed to start out with. Again, this winter, it's going to be really shoddy. I'm going to put it there because we do have our watering can that I can go get. So we're going to go get that to water those spots. But then I think we're going to just turn it around right away. I'm also going to bring all of these minus one. We're going to finish these off. See if we can get... Um, we'll just take those. 
I want to see, we, we're running quite low, honestly, but I want to see if we can get some more. Oh, yeah. This is why I want to be able to get more artifacts. It's from that little fella right there. Oh, that's so cool. We actually came out beyond a tree that's right there. Wait, that tree wasn't there. The tree moved. The trees are alive. <laughs> Hi, Pam. Oh, Pam's winter outfit. I forgot they had winter outfits. Look at it. She's in like a vest. Hey, did you hear about the, the old bus? Yep, I'm back on the saddle, kid. Feels nice. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to see everyone's winter outfits. This is going to be so much fun. This is going to be so much fun. Oh, there's lights in the tree. Oh my gosh, that looks so pretty. Look at the lights in the trees. I love it. And like the holly bushes. Can I, is there anything I can do with these? No. Alright, well let's get our magnifying glass. So that we can start getting all secret notes. Beep, you got me. I'm sorry. Take it, take it. It looks so valuable. I couldn't help myself. You received the magnifying glass. You now have the ability to find secret notes. These notes reveal rare and useful information and can be revealed in your collections tab. Awesome. Is there any more? Yes, we need to actually find a secret note first before that prompts. I wonder if there are secret notes added. Also, I need to check the calendar to see what's going on this month. I haven't even done that. Look, I, these are, I don't think any of these are new, but they just, I don't know. Oh! Is that Sam? Sam, you look awesome, buddy. Hi, cold, isn't it? I love the beanie. Or in Canada, we call it a toque. Oh, there's a squid fest. So I'm assuming that's the same as like the salmon or whatever, the trout, whatever it's called. And two, wow, winter's a busy season. There's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine days out of the 28. There's things going on. That's crazy. Okay, we need to go to Clint's really bad. Stardrop Saloon looks amazing. Leah, can I see your winter outfit? Oh my gosh. Hi, Leah. Look at her. Like, she's in like, a little like blue Sherpa jacket there. I love the way everything looks when it's covered with fresh snow. I agree, Leah. The episode just dropped where I gave Leah the mermaid's pendant in my hemlock playthrough. On the 25th, we'll be having the Feast of the Winter Star. It's one of my favorite events. Oh, Penny's jacket. That's a really beautiful shade of green. I love that shade of green. It's supposed to be a time to show gratitude for all the good things in your life, but for most people, it's just some time to relax and exchange gifts, which is also super valuable. It's, oh, and there she goes. Okay, oh, look at the snow on the little thingy. Okay, um, 25 gold star vegetables. How do we do that in the winter? I'm gonna choose this one because we are gonna fish. Lake fish, okay. So we need to catch 20 lake fish. We can do that. That's a pretty reasonable request. Okay, we're going to open up all of these geodes. Hi, Clint. Oh, look at Clint in his jacket. Oh my gosh, Clint, you look awesome. That's such a cool jacket. Yeah, I'm a blacksmith. My father was also a blacksmith. My grandfather was also a blacksmith. But you can't guess what my great-grandfather was. A blacksmith. Wow, how'd you know? Oh, I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be sarcastic. Steel watering can. Yeah, hey, only one more upgrade. Okay, so we're going to process geodes first. Let's do, we'll just do one. We're gonna be real messy here. Good start. I don't think that's new. That's new. Oh, mixed flower seeds, okay. I don't, is that one new? I don't think that's new. That's not new. That's not new. Ooh, we'll take the iridium though, always. Nice. Mountain warp. I like how you get so many warped homes from those totems. That's new, I'm pretty sure. Granite. Tiger's eye is not new. Star shards are not new. Coffee's awesome. You're new. Uh, uh You're not new. You're not new. Frozen tear is definitely not new. Oh my gosh, we just got a shrimp cocktail. I don't think we can. Star shards are not new. One iridium, that's fine. Coal and another granite. Okay, we got a few things, but we're definitely gonna be on the hunt for geodes, that's for sure. Um, okay, so I can 
need water before I do that. Jeez, I almost messed myself up there. Hey. Let's. Okay, so our goal is to find a new hat. And I know we can just use kind of like Emily's tailoring thing, but I like to find them just from existing in 1.6, you know? I'm um, sorry that I sound super nasally. I am still sick. This is very much a new recording session, but I'm still a little sick. Okay, let's see where these things go. This goes underneath the fire quartz. This goes probably down, yeah, underneath the ghost crystal. And the granite goes underneath, right here, underneath that thing. Okay, so we're definitely, Rose, we're still in like the 40s. Let's see Elliot's winter outfit. Can't really see it behind the book, but we can see the... Oh, he puts on a scarf and a jacket. You come to visit me in the cold? Uh, yes. I mean, we're inside, but yes. <laughs> So exciting. Oh, hello, red mullet. All right. Let's go bust up. We're going to go water, put on some seeds, and then we'll um, take back our watering can. Send it right back in. And we just need a water, like that one powder melon area. That's literally the only place. Um, and I might plant, just because I'll want them together, I might plant some mixed seeds, like the winter seeds here, just so that the soil doesn't decay on us. Ah, shoot, actually, I don't know what I'm gonna do. No, I can plant them there, that's fine, Never mind. Okay, so I did what I wanted to do. Let's go turn it in before I forget. So goals this um, season, these next four episodes, is we're gonna upgrade our house at least to level two. We are going to build at least one shed, um, maybe to the big shed, I don't know, we might just keep it at the regular shed for a little bit. We are going to hopefully upgrade our pickaxe, at least pickaxe to iridium, um, and maybe the axe as well. Like, I want to focus on those two. And then we're going to make a bunch of iridium sprinklers, hopefully too, and kind of redesign our, our farm, that's the goal. Catch some winter fish, yes. Like, we're going to go to the desert tomorrow to finish off, to get the sandfish, really. Um, that's a plan. But, okay, until then. Until then, yeah, we're going to be putzing around the farm, just kind of prepping it accordingly right now. Move the coffee up here. And again, I know I could hold on to these, but right now I think just like turning them in for money is probably a better call. Does a shrimp cocktail give us anything? Fishing and luck. That's actually going to be really nice when we need just a little fishing um, help. <laughs> yeah, I know that some of these are used for other things, but for money right now, I think it's a good call. Okay, so we have a morel and we have iridium and we have... Oh, I'm not wanting to put those in there. Whoops. Alright, and then we have all of these carrot seeds, which I'm just going to sprinkle in here, because carrots grow so fast. We have 21. Yeah, we're just going to litter the heck out of this area with carrots. There we go. Um, I think it'll be a coffee day tomorrow, which is great. We are going to plant all of these here. It's 32, 64... 64 plus 6. Can I do this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so that should be 70. And I know I have some more seeds and like I just, you know, back up a winter root or whatever, but um, we're not really doing these seeds for profit. We're making them to hold the soil, eventually, all of our plots into springtime. That's the plan. So we're just going to be turning them over and over and over. Okay, let's go and drop off this morel. Did we pet everyone? We did. Yeah, it's nice and easy when they're all tucked away. There's no winter music. I'm sad. Um, I love how there's winter grass. Like, that's crazy. Oh, we have six morels. Okay, so we'll be able to dehydrate them. Okay, let's go and up to the Adventurer's Guild because we still have this weapon on us that we can figure out. Um, and then we're going to plan... We are going to plan to go to the desert tomorrow. Maybe not to Skull Caverns, unless it's like a really good luck day, but... Um, yeah, because we need to do some fishing. Like, we gotta just take care of business at the desert first. We gotta meet Sandy. Okay, so we have enough for another bar, but nothing else. Um, 
we're so close. Oh, I didn't even bring the... I have the Dwarf Scroll 4. Crap. Um, How do I want to finish off the day? Let's go and just, like, investigate. Like, let's go walk around um, Cinder Sap Forest. Because I don't know what things look like in the winter. Well, I mean, I kind of do, but I don't. There's probably a whole bunch of things to discover. We can go up to the backwoods, too, if we have enough time. But it's already 5.50 in, in the evening, so... Um, no huge stress there. Where do I move the glasses? Here. Let's get one of these going. Oh my gosh, Rue with her little bow is so adorable. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm gonna minimize the picture. There we go. Where's our music? I think that it's nighttime now. It's considered nighttime, so. I want to see this big tree in the winter. Oh, it looks so terrifying. Is that just because it's nighttime? I like the little swirlies on it. Anyways, let's putz around. Let's go check the secret woods. See what's going on in there. We got a tree that we can grab on the way. Why not? I don't think these trees, at least before, they would not grow back in the winter. So, those spooky dark secret woods. I see. Ooh, is that going to be a powder melon seeds? I'll be awesome if those are powder melon seeds. Ooh, and we got holly to ship. Yay. Awesome. Okay, we have a few more powder melons to plant. We should go check the beach, too. There seems to always be a good amount at the beach. Sometimes. First secret no, we got one. It's an old crumpled, but if you look closely, you can make all the details. There's a page from someone's diary. There's only a few older bachelors. Okay, so this is gift taste, which is awesome. So I should be able to go to, let's say Shane, because I haven't given him. Um, oh my gosh, we can see everyone's winter outfits here. <gasps> Emily, oh, I'm so excited. Even Haley looks awesome. Jazz, we saw the, the teaser for Shane. So yeah, it gives us some love gifts because we learned that and then we should have yeah secret notes okay it looks around the same amount at least at first glance which is totally fine we go <clears throat> okay we're gonna do a loop of cinder sap and then we're gonna kind of finish up by the beach and that should be the end of this first night i need like a I need a jacket from Marcus, so he's just wearing a coffee t-shirt right now. I might pop this just because we have them. And I might actually see if we can invest in some kegs to, in the greenhouse just to get the gears turning there too. Oh, that's a new artifact. That's awesome. That's what I love about winter is that like the probability of getting artifacts does increase just because there's more dig spots. Okay, let's see if there's any fun wintry hats here that would make sense. I don't think so. We want it. Nope. Okay. Sorry. I need to remember that the blue ribbon is the last one for us. <laughs> we are not going to this peninsula anytime soon. I'm just going to say that right now. We're not going to be doing the glacier fish this year. There's no way. I want to make sure we have like a seafoam pudding or whatever to be able to do that. Oh, thank you. All the secret notes. There's a few secret notes that we for sure want because they are artifact based, but. More holly. I borrowed a necklace from mom, but she lost it somewhere near the bathhouse. She's going to freak out if she knows it's missing. Okay. We got you. There's also a lot of trees here, so I'm going to probably hold off on cutting these down just because it's already 10 p.m. And that'll give us something to do another day as well, so I'm not too stressed about it. We're going to try and jet on over to the island, and our coffee buff is wearing off. No! Oh my gosh, winter grass. That's that's huge. I love that so much. Houses with like I love how the lights actually light up the windows. That's so pretty. Oh my gosh, and the trees light up too. That's so pretty. I love it. I love it. Nice some wormies down here. Oops. And lots of wormies down here. Will you give us some artifacts? That's one that we already have. Okay. 
it's okay. Oh my gosh. <coughs> Goodness, sorry. Beach warped home, sure. Anything is work. Oh yay, a powder melon. That's awesome. That's what I was hoping for. It's at least one of those. Okay, we're gonna go back. I don't know if we'll do um, the backwoods because I want to make sure that we can try and plant these two powdered melon seeds. And I think there was two watered spots there that we could do in like the same quality sprinkler that we planted that first one. Is that Willy? Willy, look at you in your jacket and like hat. Oh my gosh! Ahoy there, son. Looks like a decent weather for fishing, eh? I think you actually just normally wear that. I don't know why I was so like whoa about that hat. <laughs> Hey, 12 o'clock, yeah. So we gotta do, we're gonna do um, desert stuff, just like our first, like, hello for the desert. And then we are going to probably kind of do some lake fishing tomorrow. Get that going. Okay, look, yeah, there's two watered spots here. I know they're not together, but at least they are now planted and watered. I'm also going to, do I have some in here? I do. Let's just fertilize them. Why not? some higher quality because I think we're going to ship at least one of them so bonk bonk um I have like a lot of things that I'm just holding on to so you one two of you um you go in there the anchor can go in here Yeah, and then that, we're going to ship this holly, because it's a new shipping thing. And I'm going to put this here, and I'm actually just going to put the mallet in there too, so I remember it. Okay. Let's go to bed. That was a, that was a very fun first day. I like that. And we made 7,000 from just everything. Mannequin's still in place. Good. Jeez. We have sunny day tomorrow. We have... Oh, it's a really bad luck day. So yeah, it's good that we're not going to be going to the caverns today because this is a really bad luck day. Um, hi, Marcus. Just wanted to let you know about a new item I'm carrying. It's called a wood chipper. Use it. Uh, you can use it to break hardwood into several pieces of regular wood. I know wood can be hard to come by in the winter, so if, you have su if your supply gets low, consider picking one up. From Robin, and I have a ch little challenge for you. Catch me a squid. You can fish them up from the ocean at night. They only show up in winter, though. From Willie. Well, there's a whole event for them, so we might just wait until then to do that. <laughs> Drop you off. Drop you off. I think we should just grab two more. Probably eggplant or corn, sure. Pop them in. Say good morning to Rue. Hi, Rue. Wormies. It's gonna be most of the wormies on our farm, but that's fine. This is gonna be the winter crops. Okay, then we'll do some animal things. We don't have, unfortunately, a crow. Ah, I think I saw a crow because I down by Leah's. So I wanna make sure we bring a gift to Sandy. Just because she's so far removed. Oh, those look ready. Fun. Whoa, 99, 132. Named for the powdery coating that forms on the surface. This melon is crisp and sweet with a delicate flavor. That's awesome. Okay, so we're going to immediately just put these into the seed maker. I'm going to sneeze. There it is. Sorry, I was pulling up OBS to make sure that I unmuted. Okay. Even if Starfruit's looking pretty okay. Awesome. Yeah, we're gonna just. I know I don't want to ship one of these. I'd, I'd rather make seeds out of them right away. I think that's more important. Oh, and all of our land seed tilled. That's great. So then I'm gonna. We'll actually wait to see how many seeds we get before I put fertilizer down. I don't think it's a mushroom day, but we have morels that we can turn. And now my question is, 
does this winter grass grow or does it kind of just stay status quo so to speak there we go grab 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 oops <gasps> there's a duck feather there's a duck feather oh my gosh we got the duck feather finally thank you whichever one that was iris or lotus i don't know which one but thank you so much that's another community center bundle that is now done Does that mean we're done the bulletin board? I don't know if that means we're done the bulletin board or not. Um, okay, everyone should be pet now. Yeah, everyone's gotten their loves. This should be back up for this. Yes. Oh, wow, we got six from that. That's awesome. So we can actually expand a little bit more out. Um, where's the fertilizer? There it is. Oh, so I'm going to sprinkle one, two, three, four, five. Nice. And there'll be six, seven, eight. That works out really well. Because now I can just go... If I can do this, please. Six, seven, eight. There we go. Oh, I just fertilized a dead plant. I didn't know you could fertilize underneath. That's funny. There we go. Okay, I feel really good about that. to let's go and grab that croak actually let's go s this way because there might be one here for us to grab never know so pam should be yeah she's there oh she gets there before 10 now she used to get there a bit after 10 oh it's because we right we she freaks out about the chair i forgot that that was our doing <laughs> okay i'm gonna go turn this because we're not really um, like it's still kind of like a pets around day so to speak i'm just gonna go pets around the um the desert a little bit take care of business there and then come back and oh yeah yeah another one hey okay, that's awesome okay let's go and drop this off wait can we finish that can we oh no what are we waiting for right the nautilus shell right we need to actually check the beach it's important that we do that we got another seed maker that's awesome because we'll finish that and then we just need the nautilus shell Wow, and then the community center is done. That's crazy. Hi, Robin. How's your winter outfit looking? Oh, nice. You just put on the plaid. Hey, I heard some weird noises last night and woke up this morning to find the quarry bridge completely repaired. It's a miracle of woodworking. That's cool. I'm pretty sure the quarry bridge has been open for at least a week, but I'm glad you're you're checking in. Hello? Who are you? Oh, Evelyn looks so adorable. Aren't you cold? You should wear a thicker jacket, my dear. I should. I should wear just a jacket in general. Look at Jody with like her beautiful earrings. Hey, the bus is back and running. I'm sure Pam is happy about that. I heard she'd been drinking more after losing her job, so hopefully this helps. Gossip. Um. Oh, Emily looks awesome for winter. Oh, hello, Marcus. You must be getting very good at farming now. By now, huh? <laughs> is this a fish-related one? I need a walleye to uh, for a calzone I'm making. Could you bring me one? Sure, Emily. I think it needs to be like snowing, doesn't it, for a walleye? So we'll see. Um, we're going to go take a quick peek down here. Lewis will get mad at us. Just because we need that Nautilus shell. And that will be awesome if it was just here. I tried. No. Is there any wormies? Because wormies are also good. Hi, Elliot. No wormies, but we got at least one more powder melon. And we got a seed maker. That's really awesome. Alright, we're going to go through South Cinder Sap because I want to uh, make sure that we get that. Oh, nice. Did we get, there was a crocus by Leah's. It was kind of dark last night, so... But it was tucked away, like, right in the right corner. Right there. Yeah. Oh, there's also one right here. Cool. Let's grab a couple. Oh, we got two from that. Is this one going to be better quality? Not that it's, in, it's like, the end of the world, but... Okay, so it wasn't... It's just a regular quality. Okay. Have we shipped a crocus? I don't think so. I don't think we've shipped... 
We haven't shipped, yeah, we haven't shipped like any of the winter forageables because we were um, determined to make seeds out of all of them. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I was trying to get onto my my sword. That's okay. Easy fix mistake. Hmm, seed maker we'll put down over here. Put some wood on us. Wood can go in here. And how do I want to do this? Can I just like axe? Do you have to scythe these? No. Nice. Okay. Bonk. There. Okay, let's go to a ah, fishing rod. Let's go to the desert before Pam leaves. <laughs> we have like no bait on this. Let's grab a bit more bait. Grab that ruby so the crystal iron can continue to do its thing. 2 p.m. I think we're good. I don't think she lives until like 4 or something, so should be okay. First visit to Calico Desert. What new things are we going to uncover here? Wormies! Okay, we're going to go visit the desert trader because um, they're always excited. Actually, we're going to get those wormies because I'm super curious. Hello, Calico Desert. Oh, how I missed you. Yay, new forage. More wormies of forage up there. Nope, we don't have a prismatic shard yet. That's fine. Hello. What are we blinking about? Catch a script. Artifact trove. Let's say more totem. Let's heal. Mega bomb bomb. Fiber. I think that's just like because it's a Tuesday. More totem bar butterfly hatch. The turbans. Can you always buy two? Midnight beach bed. This pipe cap is 15 iridium bars. Midnight Beach doubled at 30. Wow, this must be a new furniture set. A dark piano. 999 coal. What the heck? Ooh, this looks so cool. What the heck? Okay, so we need a lot of coal. Holy. It's gonna take a little bit. Oh, nice. We got a coconut to ship as well. Ooh, and another cactus. Oh, and another coconut. That's awesome, because Linus's birthday's coming up, and I think he likes. <coughs> he likes both of these. Goodness, let me just check really quick. Minus. What do you like? You like... You love... Yeah, the cactus and the coconut. Oh, is this camera new? Ah, uh, customer? Hi, welcome to Sandy's Oasis. Hey, you look just like the new farmer that Emily wrote to me about. Then the bus to Sardew Valley is back in service. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> nice. Sandy, I brought you a gift. Ah, even in the winter, Surdy Valley has beautiful flowers. Please visit again soon. I get so bored out here. What do you have? Okay, so you have all the fun stuff here. We can buy some star fruit. Finally. A shirt. Oh. Ugh. Okay, but these aren't cursed ones. These look like normal mannequins. A coat stand, clothesline. These look so cute. This coat stand looks awesome. Oh, wall sconce. Okay. Um, I kind of want to buy some starfruit seeds. We'll come back for those, though. We'll come back for them. Because I need to know how many I want to buy. But yeah, we can get those in the greenhouse. No problem. Why not make some money on that, hey? Let's get a sandfish, though. I cast that line too far. But that's what I want to do. Tree is very inconveniently placed. It's like right where I want to be casting. There, that's like right in the center. Sandfish? You look like a sandfish because a scorpion carp is a lot more feisty. So we're going to be done after this. Hello? Yay! That's another room done! Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Let's go back. There might be some other things here to do, but we'll figure that out eventually. Again, no rush. 
Okay, we're going to be frequenting the desert quite a bit. We're just going to not do it on a very bad luck day, which it currently is. Um, okay, let's drink this coffee. We're going to pop into it because I wanted to finish the room. Finishing a room is always way too exciting. They can never wait. We're going to plunk down one of you, one of you. Keep the rest because now we have those for the shipping achievement. Let's put nothing in there, nothing in there. We're going to put this in here. I need to remember that we need one of these for Linus's birthday. Put away the glasses. Actually, we'll keep one on us. And I'm going to grab you and you. Sure. And we'll grab, I don't know if we shipped a crystal fruit, but we'll ship one just in case. So we can get these locked in for shipping achievements. There we go. Okay, let's go to community center and then let's go fish some lake fish for Demetrius. Might have just ran by some wormies. I wasn't looking at the game, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> and we have a sandfish. Yay! The glittering boulder will be removed tonight. What do we get? Five dish of the sea. That's actually really awesome. Yay. Oh, this feels so good to finish a room when we're finishing with food above our head. When we're done here, we'll return to the other world. Yay! Oh my gosh, there's fish swimming around. There's a little snail in the corner. That's so cute. We didn't even put a snail in there. Was that a snail, a sunfish, or a catfish? I love that. Is that is this table beside it new? I don't remember. Looks very nice regardless. Yay, look at your little blue Junimo for the fish. That is room number five done. Five of six. All we need is a Nautilus shell. All we need is a Nautilus shell. Can I just bring you out with me? Please come out with me. No. <laughs> okay, and we're just going to fish with the rest of the time. Let's see if we can get work towards the 20 lake fish that we need. Oh, wormies. Oh, so many wormies up here. Nice clay. We take, oh, we take that. Oh, Jack be nimble, Jack be thick. That's a book that we can trade in. Oh, hello? That scared me. I was like, what is this? <gasps> Linus, stop. He made a leaf hood. Have you come to ridicule me? No, Linus. I'm just minding my own business. I love your leaf hood for winter time. That's so awesome. <laughs> All right. Well, there's a crocus over there. Hey, let's do some fishing. Oops. I let go of my thingy too quick. any new fish in here? I don't know. Whoa, you must be a sturgeon. I think, yeah, you must be a sturgeon. No, no, a perfect catch. Oh, no, you're just a lingcod, okay. Which is still a new catch, that's awesome. Bastion's gonna come and just light up a uh, cigarette right beside us. That's fine. He'll just hang out with us. Gotta do what you gotta do. Whoa. 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 I don't, that was that. Uh, that might have been a sturgeon. <laughs> At least we have some speed for the road home. Whoops. Sorry. Worked really hard for that one. Oh, it's a perch. That's new. Yay. How many fish are... How's our fish collection looking? Okay. Still fine. Still a lot missing, but that's totally fine. Squid, octopus, don't know, don't know. Like a pike or something. I don't know. That's fine. Um, What was I going to check? I was going to check how... We're at four already. That's great. Doing great things.
Yeah, for it being like a super bad luck day, why not go fishing? Fishing at the beach. Maybe we, no wait, we need to be fishing at the lake. What am I saying? What am I saying? Ding. I'll check how many we're at after this. I haven't been keeping count. <laughs> Just been kinda of rolling with it, I'm not gonna lie. I think it's fine. Oh, uh, river jelly. Oh yeah, we still need to get a cave jelly. I don't think that would count towards a fish, though. Just like the algae does it. I don't want to make another deluxe bait machine. Get some more bait going, that'd be nice. Is that 10? It's 10. Halfway there. Okay, we're doing good for first date. Oops, I was scratching my head. More jelly. Perfect. Oh, a midnight carp. I forgot that you could catch midnight carps. It's awesome. We're going to hang on to at least one of those because that's used for a cooking recipe. Assuming we get more than one. I don't know. How are we doing? 12. I think it did count, maybe. Alright, you're like a chub or something. Just vibing. Nope, it's a walleye. Okay. Mm -hmm. eee. Eee. No, my perfect catch. My EXP. If you get a perfect catch, you get more EXP. Nice, we got another one. Oh, the first one we got was Iridium. Wow. That's great. Um, yeah, we actually have been, like, getting a lot of fish in here. Looking really awesome. So there should be 14 or 15, no? Oh, I want that. Because what if it's an Iridium Band? I want an Iridium Band so bad. A chub. Are we going to get chub row? No, but we got a mystery box and a geo. That's awesome. We actually need... Geodes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, hello. Maybe another midnight carp? No, midnight carp don't just like stay. Perch. Oh, you were a midnight carp. Okay, how are we doing? 17. I think we can finish this off if we're a little bit greedy with our time. Oh, no. Did I run out of bait? So that'd be really great to finish this off in one day. Oh, we still have the bait.
Nice. This is 19. We need one more. Which is pretty much the last of our energy, too. Oh, and it's a fish, too. It wasn't like algae or anything. Yay. Nice. Dun, 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 dun. How much did we make? 1500 from that. Cool. That's awesome. Let's run back. I'm assuming we're... Oh, shoot. How much energy do I have? Eight. Because I have enough to dig up some wormies if I see wormies. I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. I see some powder melon. Please give us more than one seed. Please give us more than one seed. Eh. We'll plant that tomorrow because it's 1 a.m. I don't think we'll have enough time today. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. One ten a.m. That's kind of terrifying. Donk. Donk. Yes. And donk. Oh, I just sorted in the gold coconut, which I did not want to do. Or cactus fruit, sorry. And we are going to shoot. What do I want to do here? I'm going to take out the baits. Remove the baits because I want to keep those in there. Yeah. And we'll put the baits in here. And that goes in there too. Joja Cola, we'll put the book in there for bookseller day. And put the fishing rod, put the food. Oh my gosh, this chest is getting really full too. Okay, so now my question is, can I run down here and can I... Nice. Sneak that in, really, is what I was trying to do. And we're just going to sell off the rest of these fish. Because we don't really... I mean, the money will be nice, right? Because we're not making a lot of money right now. <gasps> what is happening with it? Oh my gosh, my heart just like seized in my chest. That was so scary. Wait, does that mean it's going to be in... Yay! Okay, so I'm prepared. I am mentally prepared for the mannequin to be staring at us. I'm mentally prepared for the mannequin to be staring at us. Amazing. 8,200. Not bad. Okay, mannequin, mannequin, mannequin. Mannequin, mannequin, mannequin. Mannequin, mannequin, mannequin. Oh, it's not. That was so weird. And our gold watering can is ready. Yay. Let's see. What do we got tomorrow? Snowing. That's cool. And fortune teller says, oh, it's a good luck day. Okay. Queen of sauce. Just in case. Glazed yams. We already know how to cook it because I wasn't too sure. And it's Linus's birthday, so we're going to definitely go run up there like now. We have something in the mail. Hi, Marcus. Thanks for your help with the fish. Nature is usually good at keeping things balanced, but sometimes artificial factors can cause an imbalance. I've enclosed a blueprint from a science magazine that you might find interesting from Demetrius, and we learned how to craft the farm computer. Nice, all of those are grown up okay, again at different rates, but that's fine. Not much we can do about that, nor should we. I think it can be more detrimental to wait to plant them all together. Let's take a quick peek in here. Oh, the other ones are grown up. Yay! Oh, and we have some squash that we can make seeds out of. So we actually have a lot of room for some star fruit, which I think we will do after kind of the carrots are done doing their thing, which will be actually quite soon. So let's pop these in here so we get those going. Oops. Let's go say good morning to cute little Roo. Morning, Roo. The grass doesn't seem to be growing, which is okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. Why would grass grow in the winter? Let's set seeds up, so we'll go check on those. Pop you in. We have enough to do one more round of these. Cool, that's a lovely, a nice little 1600, yeah. Let's do some animal things. Thank you so much for that duck feather. That was awesome. Cozy time indoors. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And good morning. We have milk, milk, and milk. Nice. No 
Oh yeah, we have some controls that I can turn it over to. Well, a little bit of extra cash from those. It's Wednesday, my dudes. Um, so Pierre is, is closed, which is fine. I don't think we need too much. How many? We have three more. Okay, three more. And look at there's literally three spots right here. Perfect. Oh, and our pumpkin juice is up. Yay. So let's grab six more. How much does that sell for? Six thousand. That's a lot of money that we're going to get today. Okay, let's go and visit Linus. And then we're going to go visit Linus and we're going to go to the... Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Because I think I have a fair amount. Yeah, we'll bring a beach tome. Just to save some time. Because I think I do want to stick our noses into the Skull Caverns today. Why not? Why not? Oh, hello. I might leave those there. Those will be there later. I want to be a little little efficient with our time here. But I want to see if we have a Nautilus shell. Oh. Oh, yeah. I forgot that this was part of the package. I'm stretching. I'm sorry. Big stretch. Hi, Marcus. It's odd. I'm not sure what causes Boulder to disappear. Yeah, me neither. The stream is flowing from deep within the mountain. Yay. Hey, do you see that glistening in the water? Yes, that's quality ore. The flow of water must be carrying it out of the mountain. You know what this means, right? I don't. <laughs> it means we can start panning for ore! I'm so excited. Here, I've got an extra pan in my backpack. Why don't you take it? Wow, thanks, Willy. Copper pan. If you ever see ore glistening in the water, use that pan and see what you find. Na 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 na. You received a copper pan. Thanks, Willie. Now, my friend Linus, are you putzing around somewhere? Are you in the bathhouse? Are you in here? You are. Happy birthday. Whoa, that shot him up to seven hearts. A birthday gift. That's very kind of you. I love it. My old friend, the Glimmering Boulder, has moved on. It, um, it may not seem like an important event, but to me, it's a big change. I'm happy for the old rock to see more of the world, though. <laughs> That's so cute. So we're going to try and keep our pan on us a little bit, just because... You can get some fun stuff. I want a lucky ring. I see wormies. Book. Awesome. Okay, let's go see if there's a Nautilus shell. Let's see if we can finish the community center. Today. The answer is... Ooh, yes. <laughs> oh my... Oh, we got another one to ship as well. Because I think you ship these, right? Are you losing my mind? Yeah, you have to ship one. Oh my gosh, we're done the community center on winter three. That's great. Oh my gosh, there's another one up here too. Holy. Okay, we got a bunch of fish, so let's go see what bobbers there are in store for us too. I think that'll be fun. And I'm actually going to spoil myself by buying the fish smoker recipe and... Ooh, stonefish bait. That's actually kind of nice. Um, I'm really gunky. One second. I need to sneeze and everything. I'm back and I'm going to check and my voice is being recorded. We're good. Oops. We are going to also buy the iridium rod. Oh, you can buy the copper pan from him. That's cool. Oh, that's cool. So you can actually have some copper pans kind of like around, around, like we could leave one on the island. Okay. So we're also going to be getting a cork bobber for this iridium rod. <laughs> Just one to start out with. And I kind of want this because this, these stonefish give like money. They give good money. 
Okay, now let's see. A boot. <laughs> We're gonna do the boot. That's so funny. Okay, let's go and finish the community center. Actually, let's go pick up our watering can and then finish the community center. Oh, a ticket. Oh, do we get, what do we get? It's the book. Is it the book? We got the book with the heart. What's the book with the heart? What are you? Friendship 101. And hello? Oh, that's, is that a fish smoker? I think that's a fish smoker. What do you do? You become friends with people a little faster. Oh, that's awesome. And that's like really convenient with, yay, you learned a new power. That's really convenient with, um, um, finishing the bulletin board too. I can put this on the rod. I don't know why I didn't do that when I bought it, but that's fine. Okay, let's get you. Yay! Da -da -da -da. Gold watering can. Okay, and then let's see how much. Do you have anything else in here? Let's see how much, because I'm thinking we can do... Sorry, what? Has better yields than copper pan. Also has a small chance to immediately cause another panning spot. You can upgrade your pan? You can upgrade your pan. You can upgrade your pan. I came in here because I wanted to look at this. I was going to start hoping to upgrade the trash can, but I think we have a change of plans, wouldn't you say? Okay, so, um... Oh my gosh, you can upgrade your pan. That's another mod! That's another mod that became vanilla. That's so cool. That is so cool. I love that. Oh my gosh, all these changes are amazing. Shoot, you know what I should do too, because I don't know if I'll be able to do it again at any point, is we need to buy this as well. We need to buy the Joja Furniture Catalog. Is there anything else in here that we feel like we need to buy? I don't think so. I think we're okay. Because Joja Mart's going to close down, so I think it'd be really cool to have access to that. Why not? We have a golden watering can that's going to save so much time. Hi, Jody. Hi, Sam. We're going to become BFF soon. Whoa, Linus is just like... <laughs> okay, let's let's finish this community center. Wow. It took us just over three months. And again, I don't think I was trying to work too hard on this, so that's crazy. That's crazy. There we go. I forget what we get from this. Another recycling machine. Oh, it just Im immediately just does the last room for us, like the whole area. The last bundle. Hold on. Like this. <laughs> Yay! I missed the Junos already, though. Look at this. Oh my gosh, we're done the community center. Yay, we're done the early game. <laughs> Hi, goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Don't leave me. You're so cute. Don't leave me. I'm so sad. Junos have returned to the spirit world. Look at this. Completed community center. Looks so fantastic in here. We did it, folks. We did it. It's done on winter number three. The third day of winter. Episode number 13. The community center is done. Look at its decorations. It's so beautiful. Okay. <clears throat> So I totally just derailed myself because we're going to go um, upgrade our pan. Oh, I just heard wa that the water's too far to go pan. I kind of want to just like upgrade the snot out of the pan now to gold. Yeah, I think that's a plan. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to go and then we will go to the skull caverns. Let's ship one of these little shells though. One of the like, gold star ones. Actually, I'm going to ship this one too just because I think we might need the space. I'm going to drop off this, 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 this. Actually, we'll bring the hoe because there might be um, some stuff in there. We'll add you there. Because, yeah, we have the trash catalog and the Jojo furniture catalog now. I'm going to put this in behind. And let's see. We can take out the sea cucumber row and put that in here with there. And... Put you in there. And, hi, Rue. Did I not say good morning to you? Is that why you're... Let me 
around be with me that's totally understandable did i say hi to you i did you're just you're being vocal that's okay and we're gonna grab five steel bars for this pan that's so cool that you can upgrade your pan it actually becomes like a relevant item now hey so that's gonna put us back fifteen thousand, which is okay because we make that back actually pretty frequently um town clint i have something for you that i literally wasn't expecting can you upgrade our pan that is so cool so cool i love that okay now let's go to um let's go to the skull caverns take a little peek we're gonna get down to like maybe floor 10 if that i know we're not gonna get deep but it'll be nice at least to get that in the okay, quick look to the south oh shoot i could have brought one of those crocuses to sandy so bad Quick peek down here for any big spots because we have some artifacts that we're going to want to collect from here. Uh, doesn't look like it. I'm going to grab this coconut because it's going to be good energy if we need it. Never mind, you can't even use coconut. That's the cactus root. No big spots. That's okay. Alright, let's start. First time entering a skull caverns in one point. What is this? That looks so scary. And it's like a button that I can't press. That looks so scary. I love that. You insert the skull key into the keyhole. It's a perfect fit. And there it goes. Bring Emily right. And welcome to Skull Caverns. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we are actually going to take the time to kill some of these um, purple slimes if we see them. Because they give iridium. And that's probably going to be our best chance at getting iridium for the next little bit here even though they're going to take many hits there we go we got many more already yeah i'm not planning on getting too deep in here today but it'll be nice to actually start this out um what i really want is to get a prismatic shard yeah, we're not going to be pressing too hard into Skull Caverns until we have a the Iridium Pickaxe, because that will make a big difference. I see another Iridium Slime, Purple Slime, whatever you want to call it. Yes, nice. Gift taste for Haley and Emily. I actually relied quite heavily on that after a fight group. Because it was on the Switch, and I think I'm still like the wiki was still getting set up. Like it wasn't like as comprehensive as it is now. Which I know you can get the bug killer um, enchantment, but <laughs> there's other enchantments that I usually go for on the weapon. 
There we go. That took way too many hits. Oh, yay. But it is one that we don't have to um, work too hard for. Oh, my gosh. My energy is just gone from that floor. Would be nice to potentially leave with more than one iridium, but, you know, if that's how the game wants us to be, then that's how the game wants us to be. I can break this first. There's babies. There wasn't even babies. No, I don't have bombs. No, I don't have bombs. Oh, our first serpent. Where are you at? Free me. Oh, lots of gold. That's awesome. Oh, I wonder if the ratio of ores changed. Because, like, for some reason, like, gold is always, like, very low. It has very low spawn rate in the Skull Caverns. Oh, and a hole. Yay. What time is it? 7.50. Okay, we can eat, like, two or three of these. I think that's fine. Mm, let's... I haven't seen coal yet. Okay, how many floors are we going to get? Four levels. We'll take it. An earth crystal. We'll also take that. I think we've got this big rock. Why not get the... Ooh, a serpent. That did a lot of damage to us. Nice. That's number one out of the 250. That sounds like another one coming for us. Yep. I remember I used to be so bad at killing serpents. It was because I couldn't time the swings. A bomb! You're a rock star. I don't think I'm going to use it here because these <coughs> stones are quite sparsely placed. We'll use it if we have another clump of like the gold ore or something. But yeah, we're definitely we're at level nine. We're doing pretty good. I think I said level ten. Hey. I would appreciate a way down. Is it because there's that invincible bug? Oh. Dear my dear grandchild, by the time you find this note, I'll expect you to have been living in the valley for quite some time. I hope things are well. I'm honored that you're continuing the family tradition of farming and. Um, through that noble endeavor, bringing a greater life and abundance to all of Stardew Valley, a place very dear to my heart. Keep up the good work from Grandpa. P.S. I've hidden a very special secret for you somewhere in the valley. You might think of it as a compendium of my greatest discoveries. Someday when you're ready, you'll find it. I think this is a new secret note. I don't remember this. A compendium of my greatest discoveries. I think that's a new secret note. Yeah. 27. Why do I feel like that's new? I don't remember that one. That's cool. Level 10. Anything spicy on level 10 for us? Don't look like it so far. Any slimes? Because slimes are our best friends right now. No, but a serpent. Alright. Can I get the serpent and the crate? Ooh, two fire cords. That's awesome. Get all of these because these might be a way down and they're easy one hits the one shots um 950 we can stay here till around midnight i think i'll be fine <laughs> this is probably the most chill skull caverns run that anyone's ever seen the most unproductive but by now you know that that's not my goal right just nice just to enter here, get some progress. There is an invincible bug. That's probably what's messing me up. Blame the bug. I'd like to get at least one more floor. Like, I feel bad if we were stuck on this floor forever. Okay, so if I have $50,000 to my name for... That I'm saving for, um the pickaxe and the axe that means i have ooh, yeah, a geode that means i have twenty-two thousand to play with right now not including whatever we're going to be getting from our daily animal stuff whoa a way down would really be nice game there we go um i'm gonna go for that slime Seems like the downward swinging feels better because I know there's always like a weird delay to the 
if you were trying to swing your sword down or your weapon down. This is going to spawn babies because it's in a really bad spot. Oh my gosh, it's coming for us. Ow, ow. Oh yay, thank you. No iridium from you, but that's fine. Nothing up there. Worth a check. Okay, let's see if we can use this bomb. Oh, oh, we might be able to get like a few mummy kills. Go to carbon ghosts. That's awesome because carbon ghosts give um um omni geodes, which we need. Yeah, let's do it. Let's just get our first mummy kill too, so it's on the map. Oh, and it gave us a way down too. Can you give us? How many geodes? I know there's a diamond there, but I want to go down. Yay. I'm not going to do that serpent. Uh, I think we might just leave. I think this floor is a little too convoluted. Yeah, there's a slime there, but don't got the time. Okay, so we got one already more. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm not used to there being a second area over there. That's so different. 12, 20. We're doing pretty okay. That was a fun little visit there. And again, with like a gold axe, like a obsidian edge, like <laughs> what more could we ask for? Or gold pickaxe, sorry. Let's go quickly drop everything. Oh, 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 oh. Oh my gosh. I was almost exiting out of the game. That would have been tragic. Because I think we can put on, yes. And actually, let's do the gold as well. So that's uh, seven because these take a little bit to cook, so there we go. Um, bus stop. Yeah, we're still kind of, we're still fine. We still got a lot of time. I'm gonna leave those crocuses there, so it's a reminder to take one to Sandy when we go next. Which we're basically, if it's like a really good luck day, we're gonna go. The good luck days, we'll kind of see. Um, juggling that with other things, but I mean, it's early on in the season. We don't have a whole lot that we're trying to navigate right now, so. Oh, do I not have a regular? Actually, maybe I'm going to move these into the forage chest. I know that's weird, but that fish chest is getting... We can go to Robin's and buy the big chest thing. Um, what else was I going to do? Oh, I was going to see. So we have three bars, so that'll be the fourth already bar. We're almost... almost. We need five more iridium. Then we can get to the... Um, iridium pickaxe. Nice, look at that. Like, almost 10,000 just from, yeah, that's really great. If you make that every second day, that'll be really good with like the duck eggs and the goat's milk. Okay, no creepy mannequin today. It is gonna snow, it's, it's snowing today. And the fortune is, oh, it's a good luck day. Okay, so we're probably gonna go to um, Snow Caverns again today. Oh, right. Everyone around town has been talking about your uh, great generosity lately. Apparently, packages have been appearing in people's houses containing items that they posted about years ago on the Community Center Bulletin. And the packages are all addressed from your farm. Thanks for going out of your way to do something like that. All of us in town are delighted. From Mayor Lewis. And we're going to get a million recipes, so I'm not going to actually read a lot of it. I'm just going to read what they are. So Linus sent us the fish taco. Um, and that's all. Oh, never mind. I see you've entered the skull cavern. Well done. You've got a better challenge for you. Sorry, I've got a better challenge for you, kid. Make it at least 25 levels deep. I've got a mountain of gold to send you away if you can do it. For your friend, Mr. T, Mr. QI, Mr. Chi. Not sure. I've heard all three of those pronunciations. I usually say Mr. Chi, even though I know that that's typically said Chi, I believe. I don't know. Uh, I might as well just start to just take this out and just put it right on the rod whenever I get it. I'll just put it in there. It's fine. Okay. Let's say good morning to cute little Rue with his bow. Thank you, little Rue. Thanks, Rue. Oh, love getting gifts from them. So adorable. We got two summer squash. We got a whole bunch of coffee and carrots. We got artichokes. We got broccoli. Oh my gosh, we got everything today. Outfit. I love your winter outfit. What the heck? Sorry, I'm adjusting my 
mic. Good morning, Marcus. Like, her hair is different. I came by to ask you a favor, since you're a kind, such a kind neighbor. You see, I'm trying to train my ghosts to say hello, but they simply won't pay attention to me unless I have their favorite treat, cave carrots. So, since I'm scared of lies, I thought, well, maybe you'd bring me a cave carrot when you have the chance. There's no pressure, but if you want to, just swing by my house between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. with cave carrot. I'll make an old girl very happy. Bye! Sure. Um, I forgot to put away the coffee beans. And let's do the strawberries first. is a complete mess right now. That's fine. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. There we go. Okay. I think there might be mushrooms up today. No. The answer is no. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. One, two, three. One, two. And three, awesome. I forgot that we're incubating another chicken. We're gonna do, do two more regular chickens, I think, and then we'll be good. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Let's see. Tau milk today. We can do another our last couple, I guess, because we just barely got that started. Um, thankful for it, though. Always thankful. Cool, and that's all of that. So I'm in Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, let's do another turn. We can do artichoke over here. Do carrots here. Store all of these seeds. I should just auto stack. I think we'll start just hoarding the carrot seeds. I think that's a good good progress on those. Um, ship, ship. I might hang on to the cheese starting now. Just because it's going to be a good healing item. Especially going into Skull Caverns if we need kind of that clutch healing. Artichoke, I'm going to replant. We just got two for the two, so they're just spinning. Actually, no, we'll hang on to them now at this point, because we'll be able to just buy some next um, year. 9-10. So we can go, let's go do the cave carrot for Marnie. We'll do cave carrot for Marnie, and then we will... I think we'll just inject to... Skull Caverns, pretty much, right away. The silo with the snow on top of it looks so pretty. I think this one's a cutscene one, yeah. Oh, I'm stretching. Oh, you brought the cave carrot. Thank you so much, Mr. Marcus. just talk to you and see what's up. Um, supply shop. Anything new in here? No, it's the decorations. Oh, no. Pets. Nothing new here. We're definitely going to be partaking in the pets, but I also want to check this. Wow, look at everyone. We've got so many hearts, except for the, the data bowls. <laughs> Wait, Shane still has his... Isn't this his Jojo Mart outfit? Uh, yeah, oh, because we haven't gone to town yet, that's why. Okay, we're gonna go quickly pop into town. Hi, Rue, sweetheart. I'm just gonna store these carrots in here to remember so I can kind of pop by to seed them up. Yeah, they're 14 already. If we get like an iridium sprinkler in there, I will be very happy. We already have 22, including the ones in the seed maker, ready. And all right, let's get this cutscene. Oh, look at everyone in their winter outfits. Oh, I love 
love how we're finishing this in winter. It's so funny because balloons would not do that in winter. Um, in this cold winter weather, but... I love how everyone's in their winter outfits for this. Like, what's so suiting for 1.6, is it not? Yay! Look at everyone enjoying the community center. I love this so much. Even Gunther. Even Gunther. does not exist on Fridays anymore. I'm not sure how you did it, Marcus, but the community center has never looked better. You've done Pelican Town a great service. Everyone in town is pleased. Yay, yeah, yes. Love these, like, this 80s vibes and music. So great. As a way of saying thank you, I'd like to present you with the town's greatest honor, the Stardew Hero Award. You've earned it. Start a hero trophy. Grumble, grumble. <laughs> Who's that? Sales have been plummeting. Where have all my customers gone? What? Are all my customers here? This isn't good. Oh, look at Pierre in his sweater. How does it feel? Let's be reasonable. I don't condone violence as I kill a bunch of monsters in the mines all the time. Um, between humans, I guess. Um, it's of no consequence. I'll just run a 75% off sale and all my customers will come back crawling um, to me, begging for forgiveness. You'll see. No, not this time. His sweater looks very nice. Gather around, everyone. Yeah, hey, look at it. It's everyone. Not everyone. Most people. I remember when I first moved to Pelican Town. This building was active and vibrant. We worked together to make the town a better place. There was a real sense of community. Love this music. George, you always used to use the, uh, you always used to do the crossword puzzle while sipping coffee in the community kitchen. Remember? The good old days. Emily, you wove that custom banner for the Stardew Valley Fair. I remember you working on that for years. It, it was a lot of fun. Willie, me? Remember when your little crab experiment got out of hand? Hey, <laughs> that I do showed up one morning and the place was crawling with them. But Gus saved the day with a brilliant idea, a crab-like feast for the entire valley. I still dream of that garlic butter. Mmm, yum. You see, everyone, our community is what makes Pelican Town special. When Jojo Mark came to the town, we lost sight of that. But now, thanks to Marcus, we have a second chance. I'm asking that you join me in boycotting Jojo Mart. We have the power to reclaim our old way of life. Who's with me? Yay, Pelican Town music. I've lived here too long to see this town go to ruin. You can count me in. I'm in. Boycott. Me too. One more Georgia. It's about time. I'm done for. I'm melting. <laughs> Jim Morris and his Georgia cronies were never heard from again. Excellent. Excellent. So we got the most prestigious award for um, a Stardew Valley resident could receive. The Stardew Valley Trophy. Sorry, what is it called? The Stardew Hero Trophy? The Stardew Hero Trophy, which we have not a lot of room to put anywhere, honestly, with our tiny little house. Um, okay, we're going to go drop off the trophy before I lose it by getting incapacitated. Let's just put it... Let's tuck it up here. I know it's kind of out of the way, but at least there. It looks lovely. All right. Two. There's so many crocuses here. Oh my gosh. Two. The mines. Two. The caverns. I should say. Even I love the low fiber in that song. Um, 
there's a YouTuber. Her name is Astr Astr Oh my gosh, Astrilla. I'll write it up for you one second. Let me just pull it up. I'll write it on the text box. Uh, I have it here because I follow. I subscribe to her on my main one. Okay, so it is. Um, text is Astrilla. Um, she's a Stardew YouTuber down in the bottom left here. I would say check out her channel if you haven't already. Um, she has some great stuff. They're very different way of playing. Um, it's fun to see what she gets up to. She's also starting out on a 1.6 playthrough. Oh, Sandy. Um, she's starting on a 1.6 playthrough too. So, um, but I think she's doing this as a JoJo focused one. So if you're just looking for you, you know, that's, about, that's still pretty good. So if you're looking for a different kind of change of pace, there you go. Yeah, I mean in winter. Yep. Shady looking guy in the back. Do you have any fun things? Not really. Um, yeah, you can see that. She plays a very different two than I play. So if you're looking for a difference in playstyle, check her out. Because it's pretty great. I, I really appreciate it. She does around an hour long videos, I think. So, and they're... She... Um, looking for bombs. I forgot bombs. Silly me. She live comments as well as she plays. So if you like that style, then... You'll be able to see her doing that as well. So it's a pretty really good luck day, so I'm banking on it being a really good luck day to help us get some ladders. Maybe I should go buy a few more cows so we can just get more cheese going. Like, I do basically want a barn full of cows. Just for the cheese, because the cheese is so good as a healing item. And it's like, quote unquote, free. Um, but yeah, like right now, especially we're relying on the cheese as like a, oh, um, an income. Yeah, you can't trap that silly mummy there. But now the two other ones are coming for me. Crap. Oh my gosh, this floor. I'm going to have to make them a pile of cloth. I know it'll come back alive, but at least I have a little bit of peace and grace right now. Please, save me from this. Okay, at least I can do over here fine. I'm hoping that one of these goes its way down. I just want five more iridium, that's, or six, no, four more, I guess, because we had one. Oh, yay. Whoa, level two and there's an iridium node? Is that normal? That must just be because of the lock, eh? I don't think I've ever seen an Iridium node that early on, like, just, like, right there. So we have three of the four we need, like, worst case scenario, so that's really great. There's no monsters on this floor either, wow. Six levels, that's awesome. Oh no, it's a spiral floor. There's gonna be definitely serpents on the floor. That's okay. I mean, we already got more iridium today than we did yesterday, so I'm happy. Yay, purple slimes. Okay, can one of you give me at least one iridium? Ah. Oh 
Oh my gosh, both my energy and health are low. Okay, I'm gonna eat a cheese. Sacrifice some of our money. That's 483 right there. Yikes. Yay, chocolate time, so it's sick. Which makes this part easy. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, so lucky. Help. We're gonna just go down. I think the, the lower we go, the more. Ooh! I don't want to deal with any of you. Oh, sweet. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Oh! Nice. Oh my gosh, what is happening? Eight levels too. Oh, can we get 25? Because then that's money. Okay, so we have a new goal. Floor 25. I died because I was trying to get to my cheese. Oh no, that's our first death. Our first death and we were on floor 21. It happened. It's because I was silly. I should have just paused it. I'm nervous about what we lost. Found, someone found you unconscious and battered. I had to perform an emergency surgery on you. Be a little careful next time. Okay. <laughs> my money, my items. Dr. Harvey charged me a thousand dollars for the hospital visit. It appears I've lost an item from my backpack too. No, not the geodes. <laughs> All right, 5.40 p.m. We're like toast. We're not gonna go back today. It's unfortunate, it happens. I'm not gonna reset the day, that's not worth. We didn't lose the iridium, so that's all I could ask for, honestly. The geodes are unfortunate. We could reclaim them. I don't know if that's worth the money. I don't know. I don't know. Let's go to the mines, though, so that we can throw some stuff in there. Yeah, and we're going to do a turn on this. There's four of them, though. And we can do you. those away let's go to the cool i have no energy we're gonna we're gonna walk to um oh wormies do I have, I have two energy i'm just gonna eat this just so that i'm not as incapacitated so i can yeah there we go okay we are going to go and sit in the bathhouse why not Yeah, that's unfortunate, but I'm not upset about it. That was just me being silly because I didn't notice things. So I live with my consequences. And again, I, d I have never... Oh, oh, geez, Louise, I forgot all about this. Well, I mean, we're this is pretty much as far as we can get for now. There's also a crocus up here. Ah, Marcus, I've been waiting for you. Have I ever told you I used to be married? Strange, I know, for a man like me, but it's true. My wife and I were together for many years until until I made a mistake that drove her away. Her anger and envy were so intense that she turned green and began flying around the countryside, cursing everything in her path. She hasn't cursed me yet. When I found this out, I sealed this passage to her home, fearing that an innocent villager might fall prey to her dark magic. Wow, this was really dark magic. Um, but now it must be unsealed for when she separated, she took my magic ink. I need that magic ink back. <laughs> it's face so funny. Um, I would do this myself, but I, I can't see her again. That's why I need your help. In order to unseal this passage, you need a dark talisman. Talk to Krobus in the sewer. He, interesting, he should know where to find one. I'm counting on you. If you can retrieve a magic ink, I promise I'll make it worth your while. Now go! Well, uh, Rasmodius, unfortunately, I do not have access to the, the sewer yet, so we're gonna have to wait. Wormies. There's probably more wormies tucked away in the trees there, but we can't really see that. some bathhouse things. Dark talisman. Yeah, we'll get there eventually. Um, 
again, we just got our geodes that we had snafooed from us, but I mean, for, you know, my own fault, so nothing we can do about that. Alright, let's pop in here and hang out. So cool seeing both the bars go. The health goes so fast. I guess because we just have less, that's why. Because the bar is bigger, even though it's less number. We'll do the energy up too, why not? Maybe we'll finish the day with some dusties farming, because it's a good luck day. And we're not going to be going back to the Skull Caverns. Oh, we were so close to 25. Silly me. Silly me. I need to bring bombs. I need to get those bombs from... Um, I need to get those bombs from Lewis's house. Those 20, 20 cherry bombs. That would really help. Let's go make some more use of this day. That's where my brain's at right now. Oops, oh my gosh, I didn't realize that that was like a one tile wide exit there. Yeah, we're gonna go poke some dusties. Uh, do I wanna drop all this stuff off first? I might wanna drop off. Oh yeah, hmm, I don't know what we're gonna do. Oh, watch this cutscene. Marcus, come stand next to the fire pit. It feels great. Thanks, Linus. Um, I was hoping you'd come by sometime. I wanted to say sorry for mistrusting you at first. Most people don't treat me well, so I've learned to be cautious. But you've been uncommonly nice to me. You're a unique person. And I consider you a good friend. Yay, yeah, thanks. Hey, I want to show you something. Come inside. Ah, there we go. See this? It's a special kind of fish bake that I make. It's top quality stuff. I need it myself. Here, I want you to have the recipe. Learned how to craft wild bait. And that's bait type, type number three. Bait type number three. That's crazy. Worms. Oh, we can actually grab this forge now that I'm running by. Ruby, eggplant, nice. Pop the forage in here, sure. Those goodies in there, these goodies in here. Monster goodies in there. And not that one, this one. One, two. And right, we have a few more. How can I, oh, I don't even have my scythe on me. I think those need to be scythed too. Scythed. Um, you know, can I? One. Ah, crap. It's okay, we actually have our watering can on us again. Okay, let's plant these powder melons here. There we go. And let's put the cheese in here. Never mind. Oh my gosh. Jeez Louise, I'm going to have to figure out a new inventory system soon. That's going to bug me. That's going to bug me. How are we doing here? Just some. Oh. Right, oh, we can actually do this too. So, um, oh my gosh, who was it? Was it Ar Arcanus Wolf? Um, am I just confusing names now? Oh gosh, I'm freezing. I think it was Acronus. Sorry, Acronus Wolf. I think it was Acronus Wolf that told me this. That, and I'm, I'm t this is something that I'm fine learning is that apparently the Adventurers Guild just stays open until 2 a.m. now. That's a 1.6 change. So we should be able to go in here. Yay! Thank gosh, y'all are up super late. We should be able to go in here and shop and sell you. There we go. Let's see how much these are. How many heals for? I didn't say how much those were. Okay. 346. Okay, let's see if we can get a few more dusties under our belt. We're gonna do like one quick little dive in because it's already 11.20 p.m. Thank goodness. A lot of just back and forth today. That's okay.
Yeah, and if we get to 53, that's awesome. I don't know if we will, though, because it depends on how quick we can spawn a staircase here. Oh, okay. Ooh. It's two dusties, three dusties. I was hoping to get four. Let's see if we get a fourth one. Should be at our, um... Oh, there we go. Our bat eradication goal soon. Wrong dwarf scroll, but that's okay. Excuse me. Dusties, so many dusties. Oh no, and I'm so slow. Oh, I just want to get to the dusties. There's so many dusties, and it's like 1 a.m. Everything else can wait. Yeah, we got those bats, that's good. Okay, let's get out of here. It's 1 a.m. Yikes. Yikes, 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 yikes. Bring all this home with us, why not? If it's kind of a bad luck day, we might go to the quarry. I don't know, does, doc, does luck influence how many like things you get from a node? It's so like a coal node, for example. If we harvest a coal node on a bad luck day, would we... Hello, I'm assuming that's an owl. If we harvested a coal node on a bad luck day, would we get less coal? Is my question. I don't know. Alright, let's go to bed. It's traveling cart day, but we don't really need anything from the traveling cart. We'll check for um, a rare seed, I guess. 49,000, almost 5,000 from that. That's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. All right, let's see. Weather report is it's going to be... It's going to snow tomorrow. Let's see. And then our fortune is really bad. Okay, so we'll do a quarry day. We're definitely, maybe even just a um, putz around the farm day. Dear Marcus, nothing's more satisfying than oh, a parsnip soup from Caroline, algae soup from Clint, fried calamari, fried eel, George, cheese collie from Pam, pale broth from Marnie, and there we go, four geodes. And Piers is open seven days a week, and Willie has unlocked the back room. That's awesome. We don't even have a lot of the things that are required for that back room, so we're going to wait. You know, one thing I was thinking about is we have tons of hardwood. Why don't we invest in a horse? Because it's only 100 hardwood. And five iron bars, I think. I think that's all. too close to the door. Um, turn on the volume. It's loud for me. I know it's not super loud for you all. It's actually kind of quiet for you all. There we go. Sure, let's do some mushrooms. And say good morning to all of these friends over here. Do we have a... Not yet. Soon. So we're done. Um, I think we did not pet a roo. Yeah, and then everyone else we pet, so that's awesome. Okay, let's go take a peek at Traveling Merchant and see what's going on there. This grass, look, I love how there is grass. Ah, so good.
Hmm. A lot of food things. There's a cheese for 1,000. There's so many food things. Okay, so definitely not worth, I would say. That's fine. We're going to hold on to this cheese, too. Mm, what do you trade? You can trade something as a desert trader for cheese. Is it emeralds? So we might investigate into that. As, and I know it's just going to be like basic quality cheese, but that's fine. Okay, no, we got some mixed seeds from one of our carrots. Sad. Three. Everything else to be sold. Where am I putting my cheese? In here. We're going to hang on to that cheese, which means that we're going to be taking a little bit of a cut in our money we're making. Um, but I think we'll be okay. Um, I'm also going to use one of these because we're getting those quite frequently. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, okay, so my question too now is 31. Wow, that's awesome. Is when is Marcello coming again? He's not coming for a while. Okay, so it's Caroline's birthday is coming up. Mm -hmm. Hello, Robin. Can you construct a farm building? And can you make us. Actually, one thing that I might want to do is I'm thinking about moving this. I've seen a few where it's been like here, so I'm thinking we might put our house here, like right there, which means that we're gonna have to tidy up that area a little bit, right? So, but we can do that after, like right now, we can definitely just ask her to build a stable for us. And I'm just gonna tuck it, yeah, we can tuck it back here for now. Um, we'll find it a new, a better home soon, but we're gonna start to work on that. Thanks, Robin. Oh. Be a path of Linus. Getting all of his cutscenes now. right? Are you hungry? I can make you some lunch. How about some leftover cave carrot stew? That's very nice of you, but no thanks. I've had great luck forging today. Oh, legs. Okay. Sorry. Crack, crunch, goes everything. Huh. Okay. Marcus, you look like you have something to say. I'm just pleased that Linus is doing well. Hey, the friendship points with him. Thanks, Marcus. You had me worried there. I thought you were going to ask me to move on to the farm with you. You know, I consider you my closest friend in the valley. You've never tried to fix me. You respect my way of life, even if you don't understand it. I really appreciate that. Ah, can you smell that? It's the sweet aroma of ripe berries. What? Linus, it's winter. Ah, oh, what a sweetheart. It's winter, though. Okay. Okay, we're going to go see what's going on in the quarry, and then we might even go into the quarry cave with our 30 salmon berries. I think we'll be okay. I don't have my pan on me because it's being upgraded. Is it done being upgraded? Shoot. You grab this forge because we don't come over here like frequently, so. Holy. Wow, look at how much things spawned over here. So interesting how the iron in the quarry takes two hits when all the iron in the mines only takes one hit. Two coal nodes, okay. So 
And we only got two coal from both of those. I wonder if that is like a bad luck thing. Oh. What was that? Was that a bird? What was that noise? So I went really quiet and stopped moving because I was like, huh? Okay, don't need to worry about the slimes. Again, unless they're kind of in our path. Like these ones. What the heck? Ooh, a secret note. Thank you. What is this one? Mermaid show. One, five, four, two, three. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Can't that last note, the last pitch, it's leaving me. I'm gonna die! Oh my gosh, I'm actually gonna die. Holy. Dies twice in one episode. Because <laughs> I was just like s standing there, just swinging my sword. I wasn't actually like registering what was going on. Okay, let's. I think it's more minor than that. Will you give us clothing? Will you give us something fun? Will you give us a skeletal hand? Don't you also drop that? Earth crystal, sure. Nothing too spicy there, that's okay. See, that one took one hit. Okay, what? We have a friend down here. There we go, kind of back him against the thing. There's one full node right there. So does this also respawn? Because this doesn't look nearly as full as I remember. Oh my gosh, that thing has so much health. Two again. I didn't want to aggro three of these. I didn't want to aggro three of them. Ow. Can you... Oh my gosh. Blocks it, immediately takes damage again. Oak resin is nice. A dark sword, 30 to 45. 30 to 45, minus one speed, minus five speed. Vampiric, plus two. So this thing swings really slow is what I'm hearing. Oh, it does, hey. That's fun though, we're gonna hang on to it because I think that's a rare sword. And it comes with an enchantment on it, which that's not my first time getting that sword, so it's not like a big surprise, but it's cool that we got it. Gosh, these things. Hello? It's like spins in a circle around me. Okay, well that was good. I'm not going to spend too much time killing other ones because I don't know how beneficial that is. Is there any more secrets hiding around in here? I think the answer is no. Okay. Let's go clean up our inventory. We'll leave the sword in here, I think. Where is it? There it is. And... Yeah, I'm not gonna worry too much about smelting stuff right now. Let's just go back to the farm. Let's go back to the farm and I think... Okay, so Robin's building. Um, she's gonna start building that for us, which is great. Gold 
Car Holly. Um, kind of want to start laying down the pathing, but the pathing will change a little bit depending on where all the. You know what we're gonna do is this is gonna pain me a lot, but we're gonna cut down these trees because ah, I need my axe to do that. Because if we want to put our house there, we need to make sure that the land is kind of prepared for it. Oh, look at all these mahogany. Oh, all of our mahogany trees grew up. Okay, we maybe will go and... Oh, we all fell into the water. We got like no wood from that. Holy, we have so many mahogany seeds over here. Chicken statue, that's a new one. Is there any more seeds hiding out behind anything over here? I don't think so. Oh, there's one. Nice. Okay, so we can probably cut down eight of these, sure. I don't know. If they do grow in the winter because some of these were not fully grown. And I think that's a really worthy use of tree fertilizer. Nice. So I was looking at the waterfall, it looks like there's like almost little black pistol pistols, these pixels coming out of it. I think we can cut it all down. Look at how many mahogany seeds we have. Like 25 mahogany seeds, crazy. I'm going to switch what side I'm cutting on. I'm going to switch over here. Yeah, we, we have so many seeds. We also have 218 hardwood. Oh my gosh. Okay, 36. Let's see how many we can plant. need access to grandpa's shed right now or shrine i am going to stagger them so we can see a little bit better this time though How many was that? 35? I think that's like more fertilizer than we can make. Mm, I'll put the chicken statue away. Three things to take in. That's not bad. Um. Okay, so let's do... Hmm, I have over a stack of wood. That's good to know. That's good to know, because do I have wood pathing in here crafted? No, that's okay. I also want to craft, I think, a little bit of... Well, I mean, obviously, a tree fertilizer. Oh, we can make 200, okay. I'm going to also want to craft 50 of this. Because I'm going to want to kind of decorate up here a little bit. Like, obviously, put a... Stepping stone there. And then kind of like sporadically, not sporadically, but like 
There we go. Start to make a path there with that. We have a few more, which we can sprinkle around a little bit. Let's sprinkle it around a little bit. Like, I'm thinking we won't actually have an official path up here. Like, we'll just um, kind of have a stepping stone. So we can start that, right? Like, it'll be kind of like that, and it'll lead to Grandpa Shrine. But right now, we're not really focusing on that, because this is just a tree farm area, so... We have the space in our farm. We're not we're not maximizing the space quite yet. Oh, I missed one. Shoot. We should go grab that. We can also come down here because I think this is getting a little out of hand down here. There was like some yeah, there's some stuff spreading, so we'll just put bonk, 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 donk, donk, donk. Pathing up there. There we go. Sure. And yeah, maybe we'll come back in here with something else in the future. I don't know. We'll see. Um, okay, so we need to make one more fertilizer, which we can do. I didn't buy... Oh... I did not buy, whatchamacallit, the big, um, the big chest upgrade from Robin, shoot, and she's going to be working for a few week or a few days, shoot, 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 um, let's do, what time is it, 1 a.m., let's just go to bed, because that's what we got to do. Bedtime. Money, 3,000. That's okay. Steel pan is ready, and it's going to be snowing tomorrow. And today is bats. Okay, so maybe not a Skull Caverns day. Which is fine. Robin's working away. Um, we need to deliver an amethyst to Emily. Got that quest. Thank you. Put that down here. Let's say good morning to little Rue. Whoops. Let's say good morning to little Rue. Good morning, little Rue. Nice coffee day. It's also a squash day. Make sure I'm not on my. Wanna copy? Oh, our, our um, star fruit is also up. So we could go to Sandy. We could go to Sandy to fill this out. Because we have... How much is that? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven times eight is 56, plus another six. There is... Um, 62 plus 3, 6, 9, 12, 62, 72, 74. So we can buy 74 starfruit seeds. Because I think I'll just ship these ones, honestly. 74 starfruit seeds, 74 starfruit seeds. I don't remember that. 74 starfruit seeds, 74 starfruit seeds. Get those in the shipping collection, why not? Mushroom day? No. Ooh, a new baby chick hatched. Yay! Okay, so I don't have a name that's been suggested for this one yet. So we are going to name... Who do we have? We have Misty and Beluga. Um, <laughs> which are like very nautical themed. I don't know. Let's just keep on with a the flower theme, I guess. Uh, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Um, all right, let's just name this one Rose. Why not? Rose the chicken. Yay, where's little Rose? Little Rose a brown chicken. Okay, so we want to do a white egg next. 
little baby rose. Hi, little baby rose. So small. One, two, three, and we're going to take this one and bonk. There we go. And I think I might just sell this. I know I don't have a loom, but that's still just money sitting there, so why not? Pet all of these friends. Hello, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, and good morning. Is that everyone? It's everyone. Perfect. Put the gold star cheese in here for a little bit. Or sorry, here. Okay. And I'm thinking we will... Mm, is that a new week? I think Sandy's still probably just chilling down near the bottom, right? Oh no, we have more French... Wait, what? Where's Sandy? Huh? How does she already have three hearts? Holy, how does she, is that the, is that this? Is that this? She's already three hearts and we met her like this week, didn't we? That's crazy. Um, yeah, we can, we can't bring her anything. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know why I keep on walking back and forth. <laughs> oh, I'm yawning. I'm sorry. Oh, big stretch. Okay, um... Yeah, well, we're just going to go there. We're going to buy 74 seeds. Um, Pam should be there pretty soon because, again, the, the thing in the way. Ooh, powder melon. Yay. Might hang on to these because we have some coming up really shortly here. Hi, Pam. Can you help us out and take us to Calico Desert, please? Hermes under the tree. Well, got three things from that. I was not expecting that. Nice! Ooh, golden relic cable. We'll go to Gunther because we have four things to take now. Um, and we can open some things from Clint because our pan is ready. scan for any sort of wormies, which doesn't look like there's any. No, okay. I mean, we got two, and we one of them is a relic or an artifact, so that's actually really awesome. Okay, let's see. Wall sconces. Don't really have room for them. Quality retaining soil. Eh. There you go, 75. Bought an extra one. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Yeah, we're just gonna go back. And we're gonna do game and Clint stuff first. Because we can plan to like at like 9 p.m. that's fine, but the Ooh, excuse me, the building's closed. See what geodes we have. Oh, sweet! I can just pop this powder melon seed right there, right there. It looks great. Mm, that's not what I wanted. What I wanted? Geodes. I have you, 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 you. Yep. Yeah. We'll go and crack these, and let's bring five full bars with us, because we'll probably send back in our whatever that thing's called, our pan become gold and then after that we just have our our trash can then we have a fully gold toolkit to my knowledge maybe there's more tools that we have yet to um experience i don't know i don't know hi lewis steel pan and can we process process geodes first oh sorry my eye just got really itchy what the heck oh okay 
No, we want artifacts, not just gems. Ooh, you're new. You're not new. <laughs> um, I don't think that one's new. You're not new. Oh, you might be new. You're not new, I think. You're not new. Ooh, fertilizer. Bombs! Hardwood. And more fertilizer. Okay, I'm happy with all of that, honestly. Um, and then can you upgrade tools? And can you upgrade a pan to a gold one? Ooh, we're under 38. Yikes. Okay, that's fine. We can recover from that. Alright, I still have the image pulled up, thankfully. Let's donate to museum. M museum, jeez. Twisted spoon thing goes there, and then dwarf scroll. Goes. Oh, these are in the wrong order. This has to go here. And then that goes there. There we go. Okay, we're done. Let's see what their rewards are. I know they're probably things that we can't. Yeah, it's all like furniture things, which we don't have room for currently. Nice. Okay, feel good about that. Let's go up to the mines because we got a bunch of ores on us. because these will just be some money. Nothing too crazy, but some money. Oh yeah, we bought the star fruit. I was like, well, how did we take such a hit with our money? It's because we bought star fruit. That's why. Oh shoot, that's what I was going to do too. Okay, we can go back and do that in a second. I meant to, yeah, go and grab more bombs. I think I'll start putting them in here though. So let's plant the star fruit first. Get that going. Did I math this correctly? I should have one left over. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. Cool. That will be some nice money for us there. Let's see if we can sprinkle some of this fertilizer. Uh, I don't know if I want to sprinkle fertilizer in there. Yeah, let's do the fertilizer. I was thinking if I was doing do fertilizer or this deluxe speed grow, but we'll start with the fertilizer. That's fine. Start from the top too. Nice, looks good. Okay, next order of business is see if we can craft like two or three kegs. Make four, because I want to keep an oak resin in there. Nice. Um, did I tap those trees over there? I think I did. And we'll just put one, two, three, four right there. Oh, that's actually perfect. And let's start to make some coffee. Four kegs is not nearly enough, but I mean, if we come here every day and just do some, then... That'll be great. Let's see. Did I tap these trees? And do they... I think that... Yeah, they produce. They should produce. Oh, speaking of producing things. So, Saturdays. Am I going to remember that I got this on Saturday? Probably not. <laughs> Probably not, if we're being honest. Hey. Okay, let's see if we can make maybe four more cakes. So, it should say five. Nice. There we go. Feel good about that. Because, yeah, now we can have eight kegs in here. Kind of whip through our coffee a little bit more. And grab you. There we 
go. Let that do its job. Turn these carrots that I forgot were in here. No, let's not eat a carrot. And let's grab... Um... Yeah, we'll start with that. Oops. Put away this morale. There we go. And we're going to start kind of pathing a little bit more, I think. Oops. I don't really know if I want... I might just do maybe a stepping stone path here and then add in a gate. Actually, you know what I'm going to do is because these aren't here, I'm going to, oops, maybe we'll, now's the time that we abolish some of this. Because what I'm going to want to do is let's do like uh, one, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five. Oh, that'll actually work out if it's six, maybe. Six. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's see what that looks like. Hmm. That looks a bit too, like, jagged for me. Let's get rid of you. Let's get rid of you. Maybe one more back. And then if we like fill in this a little bit more. Oh, I don't want him scared to E. <laughs> what if we just make it more of like a a square landing, kind of like that. And then we can decorate in here a little bit. Yeah, okay, I like that. And I'm thinking this path will go more so here. Because there's no, like, if I do it here instead, because I'm thinking that under here, there's actually tillable dirt all the way up to this building. So we're missing out on two rows. So that would be one, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then I don't think this is tillable. Let me peel this up. Yes, we have twelve. Okay, so we can and if we do two we can do two um like iridium sprinklers and still have room for like one scarecrow row and another like row after that. So let's pull up this path. I might be putting some of this down like right away again, but that's okay. Um, and then we will be pulling up this path because we're going to be moving our house. We're going to be moving our house. So I'm going to pull up this path just for the time being. Up to there for now. Because yeah, this should all be, almost all of it should be tillable. Minus like here, I think. I don't think this was, yeah. So at least there's one row there. So actually I could put this path back here, but I think it'll be like that, right? Gosh, this looks horrible. Something like that. this up because who knows if that's going to stay. Work in progress. A work in progress. Indeed. Okay, so now the greenhouse is in the way. But if we come down here, so then we'd have to figure out where the path, like the two wide would be because I think that'd be really cool for it to kind of just... So, one, two... Shoot, actually it'd be here. It'd be one, two, three, four, five, here. 
So right where the sprinklers are. Okay, I'm gonna pull that up and then put this here so I remember that's where that's supposed to go. And that means that this could line up here. Um, I don't know if that, hmm, interesting. That's kind of more or less close. I think this would just be one higher, maybe, like there. And then this would go along here, because again, this is unkillable ground. Like this. And then we'd actually pull up this path, because then again, look at it, it's kind of covering whatever's going on up here, which is grassland and I don't know whatever else we decide to put there and I don't even know if we're gonna path all the way up if that makes sense so I'm just gonna peel this back I kind of need to place some buildings first which will be next episode because we're gonna have to wait for the stable to be done but I kind of wanted to have a little bit of the pathing figured out a bit. And one thing that I think would be fun is like if we zoom out a little, we can't zoom out too much more, is kind of right around here. I think there'd be fun to be a little bit of a feature. Which sucks because again, this is like prime cropland grass. So maybe I would actually shift this so it comes a bit over and then up so that it's more like along here like if I start it here in there because then we're not cutting into tillable soil as much I can zoom in I feel very zoomed out now like if I put it in there, and then it would come down to here. It cuts into here, but this is going to be coop, like barn animal stuff, so that's okay. I don't want to eat my bluegrass, my beautiful bluegrass. Yikes. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's 140. I'm going to pass out. I'm going to pass out. Oh no, I'm going to pass out on my own farm. Oh no, oh no, I should have had a tent with me. Oh, there we go. Goodbye, $1,000. <laughs> well, I can't believe it's actually the first... Is that the first time we passed out? Crows? Hello? What was that? What was that? There was a strong windstorm during the night. Oh no! 4,800, what the heck? Those starfruits sell for so much. 6,400. Oh no! Is our farm all ruined? I'm nervous! I'm nervous! Is our farm ruined? <gasps> it moved over one. <laughs> um, it's gonna be a festival when we come back. And it's a good luck day. Okay, so it might be a, um... It's called Cabin's Day. We learned one thing. Sorry, I just kissed the mic because my cat's really cute and he's very close to the mic. Right, Finn? You're so cute. Oh my gosh, maybe I'll post a picture of my cat soon. Hello there, Marcus. So your first year in Stardew Valley is almost over, huh? If you keep buying seeds from me, you'll be twice as productive next year. Wow, our stable's already done. And I have some exciting news. I'll be selling new seed varieties in my shop. Um, next year, I should have one new variety per season. Well, that's all. Um, well, that's all I wanted to say. Have a good one. Oh, I did not think. Uh, you know, I wouldn't even bother trying my competitor seeds. Well, um, they're closed. Pear seeds are the highest quality seeds you'll find anywhere. That's a promise. They don't exist. Okay, so we have Aspen Farm. What is this? Marcus, found your face down in the mud, right? Um, during my sweep, try to, um, take you home a little extra time. Did we not lose money? Dear Marcus, tomorrow we'll be gathering in front of Marnie's house for the Festival of Ice. Sweet. Okay, so for Horace, hi Horace, we are going to name you not Grover. I was thinking, um, we have Aspen as a farm. And I was thinking, uh, 
Chess, not for the horse's name. Chestnut. Because then we have Rue, and we'll have Chestnut. No. Yes, maybe. Uh, <laughs> I kind of like Chestnut. Give me Pine. No. <laughs> Alder. No. Elm. No. One other one that I was thinking of was like Hawthorn. Oops. I can't spell Hawthorn. Hawthorn, but that seems a little too. I wanted to be a little nicer. Be Cedar. Cedar the horse. No, I like chestnut. Let's do chestnut. Is that my spelling? That's right. Yes, chest and then nut. Okay. Yay! We have a horse, chestnut. Oh, right. Horses are wide without mods. Sweet. Okay. Uh, I'm going to gather up all of this, and I don't think I'm going to put anything in them for the time being. Because I want to relocate them, so we're gonna kind of take a little bit of an L on that, just for the just for the time being. Um, yeah, because we're gonna we're gonna be moving some stuff around next episode, at least for sure. Maybe not as much this episode, but next episode definitely. I'm gonna put them in my way too full. And let's grab you. Oh my gosh, I have a horse. I keep forgetting. going on in here? Nothing really. We got some more coffee though. That's awesome. Cool. Okay. Oh, I should probably... That was my cat meowing. I don't know if you heard that. I should probably just keep the coffees in there until I get more... Triple shots, which maybe we can go buy from Gus, hey? Eh? Maybe we can go buy some from Gus. Okay. Hi, Finn. The cat's been yelling at me. So I think this path in behind the greenhouse is also going to be a little obsolete. Um, sorry, it's a little, like, <laughs> we can't get to, um, oh, even, look at that. There's a whole row hiding right here. Okay. We're really going to math out. Let's go chestnut. Okay. No cats on the desk while I'm recording. That complicates things a little too much. Yeah, we'll, we'll totally kind of make a bit, we'll try and make some more room here, I think. Oops, I didn't mean to get that. Oh, actually that's okay if I got that. There we go. Okay, and then this path down here will, oh my gosh, is that powder melon? It is, and it was two of them. Yay. Let's lay this down so that grass stuff doesn't get a bit funky. And connect that. Don't know if that's how I'm going to want to connect it, but we'll see. And then we can pull up this path, I think. Hi, Rue. Oh my gosh, I haven't even done animal things. What am I doing? Brain is just so distracted with planning things. Um... Also, I just noticed, let's do, we'll do after animal things. I haven't noticed anything. I just realized that. Um, it's because I took like a good like six minute break that I forgot that there was that big crash from the windstorm. Um, oh, another duck feather. We can ship it. Yay. We're going to ship that duck feather. Is my horse on here? Chestnut's on here. Wait, Chestnut doesn't have hearts so. though. That's cool though. Why does the chestnut have hearts? I guess we don't pet horses. I think we're just used to modded Stardew where you actually can pet your horse. Um, oh, good morning, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, good morning, and good morning. Do, 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 do. Um, did we? Yes. Okay, so one thing I'm gonna wanna do to Excuse me. One thing I'm going to want to do too is run down here and oh no, I'm so sad. What happened to the big tree? That must have been the big crash. I was going to go buy some cows, but now I'm just devastated. No. The big tree that I really liked. Okay, we'll go and investigate because I had a little like come talk to me bubble. Um, but I wanted to buy two more cows. I'm so sad. Um, okay, white cow. That's fine. We can do a white cow. And we will name you. Um, 
Because again, I haven't gotten any suggestions for um, animal names. Well, I've gotten one more, but it's specifically for avoid chicken. So we will wait till that happens. We will name you Poppy, like the poppy flower. And we're gonna get one more purchase animals. And we're gonna wait till it's a brown, brown? No. Brown? Brown? Oh my goodness. And brown. Maybe if we wait till a different part of the song. Yay! Okay, and we will name you. Um, let's just name you Lavender. I know that's not really a flower, uh, kind of, but not really. Lavender, donk. There we go. Two more cows. So we're at forty-five. We're down to forty-two. Cows are cheap. Wow. Um, get some more milk going, which means that we are going to have to invest in some more milk machines. What is going on here with this? This is so sad. The old tree is gone. However, with a hundred pieces of hardwood, this could be fixed up. <gasps> Wait, how does that work? Do we just like, are we like splicing? Okay, well, I guess we're going to go get some hardwood. The giant stump. The big tree to the south of my farm blew down. With a hundred hardwood, I could turn the stump into something interesting. Fix up the giant stump. Oh, okay. This is 1.6 stuff. Well, it makes sense because the tree is 1.6 stuff. Let's, oh, it's so late. I want to get to Skull Caverns, but I'm busy doing things. Put down these powder melons. Yeah, there we go. That works. And there and there. Are these ready? No. I think they look a bit different. The tops of them look a bit different. Um, I don't have room in here. Shoot. I can take this with me, though. And I can put that in there. There we go. Okay, and let's ship some stuff. I am going to ship you, 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 and you the strange bun. We are going to bring the cheese. We're going to bring the bombs. So we can place all of these away. Have the hoe on us. We're going to bring a chest with us. Um, and we're going to do the same thing with these. We're not going to restock them. Oh shoot, but we can move buildings. <laughs> um, okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab one of these, one of these. Yeah. Or kind of a mess right now, but that's fine. I also didn't say hi to our two new cows. Because what I want to do is I'm going to come here. Oh, there's some more powder melons there. I'm going to come here because I want to grab those and these actually. Sweet. And then I was going to just use this to save some time because again, it's already 12 p.m. And we're not going to request a building from Robin. We're just going to request some moves. Some moves. That's all. Sorry, I'm adjusting the mic. And there we go because I was like loony, leaning. My body was, my entire body was leaning. Do -do -do. And can you construct farm buildings so we can move some buildings? We are finally going to move our house over here. I think. Yeah, I'm, oops, sorry. And it's going to be kind of not like tucked in right. Ah, uh, maybe. Maybe move it down one. So we can still kind of sneak in behind. Actually, maybe I'll move it over two. So it's like we can still access back there. Uh, what if I move it a bit? more over because how wait actually because what i'm going to do is move buildings let's move our stable because i'm going to want our stable kind of close so we'll pull the stable over first how does the stable tuck into here that looks okay let's put it right there then let's grab the house see what we can do with the house okay so the house would line up here but it could go right there so then the stable would come up can we get in behind there no so we can't get in behind i don't know how feel about that. What if I recess it by two? Because then we can put some pathing there. Sure, let's stick with that for now. Which means that we can now move the greenhouse. I kind of want the greenhouse here. Um, I don't know where. We might have to, we might have to put it here for now and then move things around a little bit. Because um, then I can move this. That doesn't have to be there. It'll stay there for now. 
But what I was going to do is greenhouse. Okay, yep, yep. And these are okay here for now. They're definitely not going to stay there. I'm going to move them. But I don't know how yet. And then everything else is okay. I don't like that. I kind of want that in line. Because then, yeah, I like it better when it's in line, hey? So then do I move you back? No, that's where you need to be. Okay, that's fine. Um, I can move you over one. You can still kind of sneak in there. You have a little sneaky, I don't know, something back there. Okay, that's looking fine. I have a vision. And then we're going to fix up all of this chaos here, which is fine. And the greenhouse will be moved a little bit. But again, I can't do that because of where stuff currently is. So it's going to live there for now. Awesome. Yep. And the next thing that's going to be on the docket is going to be a shed. So we need to get 300 wood eventually, but we will soon. We need to make use of mine's time. Oh, that's our first time actually coming up there. That's cool. Oh my gosh, everything looks so different. Everything looks so different. <laughs> everything is different. We are going to move that over. Let's move these over. Actually, I'm going to move these over here because we're going to be leaving our hoe in the chest. There, like that. Okay, we'll leave horse there, chestnut there. And let's buy a ticket and go. Busy last day and we're leaving our farm in like kind of a chaotic state, honestly, <laughs> before we... <laughs> oh shoot, I could have brought a crocus to... Sandy, because it's a new gifting week. Okay, let's do a quick scan. Just a really quick scan for any big, like, forage spots. Um, artifact spots. None there. None on the southern half. What about the northern half? Anything up here? No. Okay, so that's fine. We're going to put this chest right here. And we're going to put our hoe in there. And that's... Oh, gosh, I keep on forgetting about that. So creepy. So cool. Oh, and it's a mummy floor. Nice. So we can actually... Is it a mummy floor? <laughs> Hello? We just want like a couple more iridium. If we get a couple more iridium, we'll be... We'll be so prepared for next episode where we can turn in our pickaxe. Because then we can decorate a little bit while we're doing that. Actually, no, it won't be able to, because it's, it's the ice festival, I think, or on the first day back. Maybe? Is it the ice festival? I don't know. There's some sort of festival. Will you give me a ladder with your corpse? That's all I care about, serpent. My goodness, I am not lucky with these... Bomb is really nice, oh sure. What the heck? I better get a like a mine shaft for this then. Ooh, an omni, yay. Oh my gosh, I'm spending so much time on floor one. No, it's okay, this actually maybe will give us some iridium, which is okay. gave me nothing. There, there's one. So we have enough for a bar. So we technically, yeah, we're, 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 we're in the clear for having enough for a pickaxe. I, how do I have no energy already? <laughs> I learned my lesson. I learned my lesson. I could put the food closer. I know I could put the food closer. I'm just thinking about, about it. I could have reset as well, but we took so long on floor one that now I'm just being stubborn. <laughs> so many bombs and serpents. That's awesome. Okay, that should be okay. Where is the iridium? I want to make sure I can see the iridium. I don't care about how much sap I have, honestly. Oh, look at all those crates up there. 
Did you know you can get lucky rings from crates in this small cavern? My HP. Yikes. These things hit so hard. My gosh. Oh, baby slimes are very strong. Blackberries still. I need you to drop me a prismatic charge so I can get a better weapon. Please, please, please. Okay, never mind. Oh my gosh, and there's like a boss one up there too. here meeting all my cheese on level two let's you pin this thing against the wall there we go you gave me the slammer that's not even like the best weapon 40 to 55 i mean it's a little bit stronger but this has crit power so when it crit it hits harder this is not really worth it. I mean, I got two iridium out of it at least. Okay. There we go. There's a mummy kill. And you know what I'm going to do? Just because this is like... I want to kind of try and get down here a little bit. Which didn't actually get us down at all. <laughs> I also see this gem node over here, so we're gonna get this. Ooh, an emerald. That's what is that cheese? I think that's cheese. I don't know. I think cheese is on a certain day though. Some Mondays. I don't know what day the cheese is on. Sure. Okay, let's try and gather some of y'all up. Hello? Can I? Twenty-two. Mummy's hit so hard. At least I can knock them back. Place a bomb before they spawn again. Yay, that was a lot of mummy kills. seeds thank you and we leveled up combat to level nine i think all right didn't get a single ladder from any of that though <laughs> oh my gosh 750 and we're on level four. Oh, skull caverns this is what happens when you don't have staircases and i know i'm not doing jade stuff but we will eventually i just thought that we would have been getting like a few more kind of lucky iridium but I'm proven wrong. I'm proven very wrong. Hmm. This is why I need the dwarf scroll. So I can buy some bombs. yet. Still not at half. Maybe after this next one. There we go. We're at half now. Oh, and a shaft. Yay. 
Four levels, we'll take it. More Slimerinos, which kind of sucks. Especially with a serpent in the mix too, that's no fun. And we're just gonna go. I know there was a mine or a coal cart at the end of that, but this is like an ideal floor for a bomb. I love these star floors for bombs. Can't pull you more in the middle. Crumple, 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 crumple. <laughs> Yay. Yay. Get all the easy stuff first. There's probably gonna be an enemy flying at me in a second here. What the heck? There's like nothing in this floor. That's really weird. That's like disturbing, you know, unsettling. Where is everything? Where is everything? There's like 10 rocks and I haven't gone the way down. Jeez. Okay, this might have some fun crates in the corner. That serpent's doing a little jig over there. We'll let it continue until it maybe recognizes we exist. Um, 10, 20 p.m. See if these crates have anything for us. Oh, a few fire cords. That's kind of nice. An Omni there. And I know that there's still monsters on this floor, so I don't know how... I don't know how soon we are going to get a ladder, honestly, without killing that serpent over there. Oh, yay. Eight levels, that's awesome. That might be... Yeah, we need a cheese, because we're... At level 21, we're so close. I don't think we're going to get to 25 yet again. Oh, a powder shroom. Or, jeez, powder... Oh, never mind, please. 24... Oh my gosh, we're so close to getting to 25. We get like, we get, was it 10,000 for getting to 25? That's why I want to do it so bad, because that money would be greatly beneficial. Oh, I'm going to totally get hit by this bomb. Uh oh, this is serpent. I need a way out of here before I get totally overwhelmed. that one mummy and like no rocks around it oh please i should have brought a warp totem with me i'm so close please i'm so close we also did not get a single iridium okay i'm gonna bomb this because please please in this pile of rocks we do need to actually exit here too because we still have our hoe the way out of here there we go goodness me there we got to level 25 okay was it worth it i'm not too sure but we got a lot of good eats from it so you know we'll take that um i just wanted to make sure yeah we could bring our hoe i think i'm gonna leave the bombs here is there anything else i want to leave here no we gotta go though we gotta go. Good thing I left Chestnut there for us. But, see, this is the issue, because now my house is halfway across the farm. <laughs> it's not right as soon as we enter, it's halfway across the darn farm. But I have, I have a potential solution in my mind, and that sucks that we're not going to be able to get that powder shroom, because we're... Ah, uh, 
What am I able to? Am I being greedy? 100%. Am I going to be able to plant this regardless? No. Alright, let's go to bed. 140. Wow, it looks like a... Oh my gosh, were those... Those were like little beautiful like winter butterflies. Those were so pretty. Anyways, that's an episode, hey? Level 9 combat. Iridium band. Yay. And squiddy and cravioli. Okay. Oh my gosh, this episode's almost three hours long. I'm so sorry. What the heck? It's because I think there was a lot more cutscenes in this episode. Yeah, we did community center stuff. And we're finishing with eight grand. Okay. Let's see if the mannequin terrifies us tonight. Are we going to be traumatized? No. Um, awesome. Well, that's episode 13. We're coming back to a festival. I thank you for popping by. Um, the gears are turning quite quick now, hey? They're definitely moving. They're moving in motion. So, feel free to leave comments. Um, as always. Yeah, I know you guys will too. You're pretty good about it. So, I'm looking forward to reading them. But I will see you in the next episode, where we continue to redesign our farm. Until then, bye-bye for now.